Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing the Hourly Boulder Arena on LeeChess.org. We're about to start here with 28 players. This is Late Night Bullet. It's Saturday night. I've been single for a while, last few months, so obviously I have nothing to do on a Saturday night. It happens from time to time. <laughs> so I'm playing Bullet here on Lee Chess, and we're playing WB in the first game, 24-44. He's choosing an unusual setup, and he's also playing really fast, so I gotta catch up on the clock because I do not like being down on time this early. I'm going to let him take e4 if he wants. Uh, let's play queen e2. I just want to bring the rook over to d1. Uh, I do get a chance for bishop a3 here. That's helpful. So maybe I can use the d5 square. I can try to maneuver in there. b5 is hanging. Also knight d5 is looking tasty. So let's jump in and then pull the bishop back here. He's got a full 10 seconds on us, but we have a nice position. I think this knight in the center is irritating for black. Maybe I can push h5. Try to weaken his defenses somewhat. Now I'm coming after the knight on d7. Just premove this capture. What am I threatening? Probably just bringing the knight away somewhere. He's got to be really careful. Uh, that's a good defense. I'm going to go here. Hmm. I might actually go back to d5. I'm not sure I should have played knight to e3. I know I'm giving him a chance to trade and possibly blockade, but we'll see what happens. Okay, let's do this. Trying to attack this, maybe support knight g5. Guess I'll be taking if he does this. And then knight takes e5 next. Yeah, let's go for this trade. Bunch of possible trades entering a pawn up endgame. Uh, let's play this and hope to advance this pawn. Yeah, let's just go d6, d7. Bring this in. I want to play rook takes c5. It's my goal in the short term here. Rook c7 coming next, most likely. Attack that bishop. And then rook c8. And yeah, he's busted here. Bishop a8, rook c8. He can't coordinate his rooks either. Too difficult. Okay, so we're going to take this first game from the looks of it. All right, back to tournament. So good start. We're up to 40 players now. Minnesota Taco, hello to you. It's been a while. Haven't seen you around. <laughs> Anton is not here. I'm very disappointed in you, Anton. If you haven't showed up. An E player. Holler at an E player when you see him in the street. Hello to you, E player. Let's play a Scandi. I'm going to play the Queen A5 line against Lunas, 1974. Play the knight out. Ah, he chooses a good setup against my particular move order. Knight g3 and f4 could be incoming. So let's actually bring the queen back so we don't fall victim to some discoveries. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, he's not going to play f4. That's the usual plan. So now I might want to castle queenside and throw my h-pawn down the board. He's going to open the position. Interesting. Uh, let's castle short. I can't take d5. Too risky to do that. Let's play a6, so no knight b5. I'm okay with him taking on f6. I'll just recapture in that case. Maybe he can get his queen in here, but bishop f4 can always kick the queen out. I feel rusty. My speed is not there. Maybe I'm getting old, guys. I'm closing in on 30. I'll be 30 in September. Hard to believe. I feel younger than that. But maybe it's true that uh, your speed just deteriorates rapidly once you're beyond, like, your, I don't know, uh, mid-20s, let's say. Okay, so I'm up a pawn here. Also, I'm pitting this knight. All signs are pointing to a nice endgame. Also, I might win the g3 pawn now. Looks like it. Bishop takes g3, hit the rook, and we win that. Let's look for a trade, queen d2. Uh, now we're going to pick up the knight. And he resigns. Okay. So two wins, but many players, a plethora of players with four points and Rook Crook eight at five points. This could be a tough one. W Jones. I'm going to play E4. I'm not going to Berserk because I'm not confident in my speed. I think Knight F3 is a good response to Knight C6 on move one. Uh, let's play a, a two Knights variation with Knight G5, this aggressive line. Yeah, Knight A5 is the usual move here. Okay, I actually faced this one time in a Scholastic tournament back in, like, 1999. So, 
I'm drawing on my theory from way back then when I was about 1,200 USCF. Okay, so he kicks me out, but I think even though he might get a chance to play f5, I like my position. Yeah, let's take that. Then we're going to trade here and try to get organized. Ooh, this actually wins a piece. Okay, I'm glad I noticed that because my queen is guarding c4. Very important. I was about to play d3 trying to go b4 thereafter, but it's not necessary. I'm going to take the opportunity to stop him from playing f3 while I can. He has to throw himself at me on... Uh, the king side most likely so let's just tuck our king away bishop b2 queen b6 check would be a big blunder so we don't need to do that ah he can take d5 i missed that this pawn is hanging so let's try to be a bit more solid uh in the coming moves maybe i just hung a2 i don't know let's do this look for a trade try to get at b7 this way now i'm going to lift the rook to b5 assuming he plays b6 so i can go to d5 and pressure that pawn on d6 uh, let's do this. I know he can play rook a4 and maybe give me some issues. But on the whole, we're looking confident. e5 is falling now. Hopefully f4 as well. Let's play c4, just keep this rook out. Now he's got no time left. Okay, so in hindsight, maybe that's an opponent I could have berserked. Try to get an extra point in the standings, but I mean, you can't really think like that. Hindsight's 2020, right? So the co-pilot, store elf, and pre-moved, all on eight points. And I'm playing rook crook eight. Okay, let's go g6, bishop g7. See what he has up his sleeve. He's playing a reverse stone wall. Always a tough nut to crack in a fast time control game in particular. What I like to do against this setup is try to organize e5. I think this is the way to break this setup. And, okay, well, this will be interesting. So now I'm threatening this and this. Uh, which one? I'm just going to go for the exchange. Taking f4 was also pretty tempting, but given the fragility of his structure in the center, I think this is the right call. Yeah, because he's just... Let's actually play this first. He's just losing too much stuff. I take e5 next move, attacking these two guys. Yeah, it's too much. f5, e4. Expansion all over the place with our extra material. Pawn roller. Let's play e3, just restrict that bishop. Then I'm going to go here next and attack that pawn on c4, unless he attacks my rook, as he did. Now we're threatening d3. This pawn's protected. Yeah, he is going to be losing soon. We'll just pump the queen in. If he plays his king to h2, we have bishop e5. And he does play it there. So with the skewer... Get another queen. No real danger of a flag or anything, so we win that game. Okay, so it's 12 points. Store Elf. Marion Tinsley is next. Let's play e4 again. How's it going, Marion? I was talking to you right before the tournament started, and he's playing the Scandi. Okay, he wants to see what I've got up my sleeve. Well, I'm going to choose a setup where I delay uh, the d4 push, and let's see how Marion Tinsley reacts. Okay, so he fell for a typical tactic. Bishop takes f7, knight e5, and then knight takes g4, picking off a pawn. That's an instructive tactic uh, for black to fall into. Even I have done this before when I'm not paying attention. But yeah, very easy to fall victim to this. Uh, can I do that? Uh, I'm just going to go knight e5. He had, he had king f7 after rook takes e6. Okay, so that, that offer I cannot refuse if he's going to let me do that. Let's get the knight into e4 next. This looks pretty good options here and here and now check Ooh, this is going to be bad if king g8 uh this is close to checkmate but um if king g8 i was going to swing the queen over to b3 and that would have been mate if he had gone to f8 knight e6 would have killed and here he's just losing his queen knight takes c7 next move or mate okay take the queen not much left in the tank for black down this amount of material. Maybe I had a mate or something, but yeah, winning the queen is more than sufficient here. Let's take their check, and I think that's mate next move. Okay, so back to tournament. We've got 16, but store elf not giving up any ground, and also the co-pilot undefeated. Uh, Anton, glad you made it, buddy. Can always count on Anton. 
just put out the bat signal, aka Team Scandy, and he's right there. Lufo, wow, this is just a, a smorgasbord of familiar faces up in here. Good to see you, Lufo. Okay, let's play Queen D8. I will play some other lines in the Scandy. I have some ideas about lines I want to play. For instance, I would like to play the Knight F6 lines on move two and possibly play in Gambit style in the future a bit. So watch out for that. I'm going to study some of the theory and get back to you guys on those lines because I find them very interesting, and I used to play them a bit when I was younger. Okay, let's play Rook C8. I'm going to take on D4 next move or trap the bishop. He took away his flight square. Now the bishop, that poor bishop has no squares. He has to sacrifice wouldn't mind taking this knight on f3 too. I think I'm going to do that uh, just because his structure is so weak over there. Let's go queen d5, attack this guy. My knights are a little funky, but it's probably fine. Let's see if he wants to swap. He does not. So I'm going to stabilize the structure and try to bring this knight over back into the action. So queen h3, maybe queen here. Then this knight is pinned, and Lufo dropped his queen, so he resigned. Termin oil. Okay, let's play e4, mixing in some e pawn in this tournament. Yeah, he's playing this Pierce, which a lot of people like to play. Uh, can I get a quick attack against f7 this way? I think I can. How do you defend this, sir? That looks bad for you. I think you're going to have to give up that pawn and fight for your life now. I'll have a nice choice which way to take it with my bishop or my knight. Uh, poof. I'm going to take with the bishop. If knight, there was queen a5, I wasn't quite sure about that with my hanging bishop on c4. I could try to verify what's going on there later, but just not quite sure. Now if he takes here, bishop a3 is looking pretty awful. Okay, let's go here. I don't mind if he takes this pawn. I feel like that would help me open lines. Uh, let's, hmm. I don't want to help his development, so I'm going to do this. Maybe he can take here. Maybe. But I've got a lot of pieces coming into the fray. Like rook d1 soon. Now let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's come here. See so if it, oh no, 92. Ah, gross. Just completely blundered that. I'm glad he missed that. Very, very happy he missed that. <laughs> 92, that would have been a good way to mess up a completely winning position. And he resigned. That was looking bad after king e8, queen g8 check. All right, so dodge a little bullet there, and we needed that because it looks like this tournament could be tight with Storalf, and now we're playing Storalf. Well, let's stick with e4. It's not broken, so let's not fix it. We're playing a mainline Karo. I'm going to go with a aggressive line that I played in the past, mainly just online, you know, kind of messing around. Uh, I like this line because you can set up sacrifices on e6, precisely e6. So let's see if we manage to do that. Yeah, he's... He looks familiar, looks to be familiar with how to neutralize this, but yeah, I'd really like to set something up against that guy. Bishop d6, let's play bishop e5. Looking pretty solid for black, I gotta say. Okay, let's see if he goes forward with g5 somewhere. I have a feeling he might. Let's go knight h5, just attack this pawn. Mm, okay, let's do this. That endgame is looking pretty solid for him, however. But maybe, maybe I can poke and prod and try to create some open lines to my advantage. That's a pawn right there, a very valuable pawn, I think. Let's go take that one, too. We'll take that as well. Okay, because now my pawn can come to a6. This is nice. And he probably needs to bring his king back in order to defend, but that's not looking correct or good for him to do here. So let's do this and prepare a7. Yeah, now I don't think he can ever afford to take here, really. So I'm just going to bring my king in. And he resigned. Okay, so if he hadn't dropped the pawn on f7, that would have been an interesting endgame, because I had the open e and the f files, half open e and f files to work with, but black's looking solid. You know, I might even take that position as black, because I play that scanty structure all the time. All right, wb... Warner Brothers. Let's play bishop f5 and knight f6, e6. Incidentally, he's choosing a very similar setup to one that uh, I played 
in one of my Climbing the Rating Ladder games recently. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. I wonder if he's going to do F4, E5 somewhere. Uh, don't know if this is working, but let's try it. Okay, I'm going to pull this back. I think he's trying to charge with his pawns sooner or later. So I just have to be aware of the, those possibilities. Uh, let's play A5. Pull this back. I'm okay with a trade if he wants to do that. Okay, let's do this. Try to get our dark square bishop active. So again, he's up on time in the early stages of this game. Uh, knight d3. I'm going to take. I'm going to try to break down his position. Oh, man. I meant to move my, my knight there. <laughs> Not my queen. Uh, that's awful. Okay, I'm going to resign this game just so I have more time to play. That was a mouse slip. I was trying to play knight c5. The pieces were right next to each other. Ugh, that hurts because now I don't have the fire anymore, and he does. So I got to play him and take him down. Pectel was hit by a fishing pole, apparently. I'm going to berserk this game. A little bit of a risky play, but I'm not happy after that last loss. My opponent playing real quick chess. Maybe not a good opponent to berserk. We'll see. Let's see if he wants to trade here, and then I'm going to try to open the position with e4. In fact, I'm going to open with e4 anyways. Uh, let's bring this in here, threatening mate on f7. we got to get at the king, obviously. So let's start tearing down some walls. It's like so. And that's checkmate. Okay, so we get a quick mate there. Our opponent helped us out opening some lines. And I'm in first, but remember WB is probably playing a game right now. And he might spring ahead of us any moment. Lots of time left. Nine minutes and change. 60 players. Pre-moved. Okay. We're staying with the Scandi. Let's do a specialty. Queen d5. Okay. So, in this line, I'm going to try to take over some of the center since he does not seem like he's going to occupy it himself. Let's put the bishop here. I guess you could play knight g5 maybe. Uh, let's try to keep our queen on d5 for the time being. I'm going to reposition this. I'm okay with messing up my structure a bit. That looks like a miscalculation by him. Yeah, he just dropped that for no apparent reason. Okay, so we're going to be up a little bit of material, up a piece. Always nice. Let's pull this back. And we're going to go for a swap down the file. He can't really afford to trade any further. So let's just bring some firepower up here. I let his king get a little frisky. Uh, hopefully that doesn't impact me too much, but I see how I'm going to kick him out. So preparing knight f4, for instance. Let's do this. And then we're just going to go for e4. He's too far away to contest us. We'll just keep pushing past. And we'll even stop to take that. Why not? Promote the pawn. Simple chess. Okay, back to tournament. How are we looking in the standings? We got the fire back. We're doubling. But so is WB. Very consistent tournament, despite that first round loss to us. And I'm surprised because out of the top 10 players, I played the most games, which almost never happens to me. Okay, wow, Derson. This is a risky play, but I'm going to try it. I'm not sure it's justified, but was this the same guy that I berserked a moment ago? I think it is. Let's go bishop g5, see if we can attack him a little bit. Now we're going to open up the center. Let's play e5 next. Probably bishop d3. I'm going to aim for a battery, maybe some opening of the king side, like so. See where he wants to put that queen, or that king, rather. Let's play b3 next move. Let's go here. 19 seconds. His king is stuck in the center, so I like that development. Rook c7 if I can get it. Okay, this is looking really good now. Rook c8 is a big threat. Uh, let's go here just to stop his king from roaming. Check. It's going to win a bunch of material. Yeah, now he's got to give up the queen plus a rook after that. Okay, let's get this pawn up. 
I'm going to put this back and then run the H pawn. Pretty simple stuff. Check. It's just not stalemate him, huh? Okay, he resigned. So I don't know about that maneuver, but he is berserking right now. So I kind of noticed he was in the mood to berserk. Pretty moved again. Now we got to win games. We got to win them quick. Let's do this this time. A little bit more aggressive in the center. Uh, let's go f5 and knight f6. Crank up the aggression. Needing a win. I want to take that pawn on g2. Okay, so he's allowing me to go into a very nice endgame. Be happy to oblige. Let's put this here. Okay, I'm going to take that to further mess up his structure. Aha, now he blunders a piece. Okie doke. Let's keep pushing here. Check. Now knight e4 next is looking good. Lots of attacks all over the place. We'll take this pawn on b2. Yeah, knight g4 coming for one. I think I can play that right here. Yeah, because now we check and we win his rook as well. Knight takes f2 is a big threat. Go take that guy. Stopping the promotion, of course. Okay, and mate. Back to tournament, four minutes, 30 seconds, and I'm in first. Okay, so WB, we've surged past him. Didn't berserk that game, so assuming he gets four or five, it's going to be real tight. <laughs> Finn's age six. He's begging. He's pleading for the pairing. <laughs> pairing gods. Oh, no, don't do that. Ooh, almost pre-moved queen d6. I'm edgy. I'm edgy on the mic tonight, guys. And on my mouse. <laughs> More so the mouse than the mic. <laughs> okay, Star Thanatos. Playing a good game. A very reasonable setup. I'm just trying to trade some pieces, open some lines here. Probably should play A3, so he doesn't have to in the future. Because now I get to get that this A2 pawn. Go win that guy. Uh, let's play this. And maybe I can get into even the C3 square coming up. Can I do this? I guess I'm going to try it. Um, I'm going to take, because I think he's got to take with a queen. Oh, he can do that. Okay, I hope this is all right. Not sure, not quite sure what's going on here. My back rank is looking a little sketchy, is it not? He could play bishop d6, maybe. I'm going to do this. Rook takes c2 would be a nice move if I can get it. Knight takes f2, maybe. Uh, let's do knight takes f2. Knight coming to e4, I'm thinking. So there's no queen e8. That helps a lot. That h6 move is exactly why I played that. I needed to take away his ability there. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Uh, he has c4. c4 is crafty. Don't think this should be enough for him. Yeah, he resigned. Okay, what are we looking at here? 230. I'm at 46. WB took a loss. All right, so that means I'm in good shape. With 2 minutes, 30 seconds remaining, I don't have to berserk. If we get paired with WB, then it'll be tight. Would like to win that game and put the tournament away, basically. Also, we got to watch out for Store Elf. I'm playing pre-moved again. He switches it up this time, so let's play a Slav. Plays an exchange Slav, okay. Yeah, that variation I'm not as familiar with. Uh, let's just play E6. And probably try to play bishop out to b4. Okay, so we're just getting some trades. I think black should be absolutely fine here. In fact, based on the pawn structure, I kind of prefer my position already. I will try to increase the pressure against the c3 pawn. I think that's a good goal right here. Let's play b5, stake out some territory. For his part, maybe he should play for e4. Okay, I'm going to take that. Now, once the structure is stable, now we can look to attack this guy. And I'm going to see if I can kind of goad him into playing uh, e4. Don't know that he'll do that, but he might. I'm going to play my king over. Bring it up to the center. Let's go. Oops. 
again, I meant to play a different move than I ended up playing. Okay, let's switch it up and play for e5 now. Open the center. Gonna take that guy. a3 is hanging. I can go after that. Also, c3 is hanging here after. Okay, now a4 is looking like a good plan. Uh, can I do this? Go pin his rook. So, take. And now bishop takes b5 coming next. Uh, or if queen b3, there's rook b4, which is a nice idea. Yeah, I'm going to play this. He can give me a check on e3, but no harm, no foul. There's no rook b8, remember. This pin is fatal. Just take all the stuff. Take all the things and then pin and win. Okay, so crucial game, and that's going to put us at an even 50 points to win the tournament with 20 seconds left. Whew. Okay, so I was not feeling confident after that game against WB. That felt like my Waterloo in this tournament, but it turned out that he faltered near the end. Like, who did WB lose to? Yeah, he lost to a lower-rated player, 2058. Yeah, we, we slipped pretty bad that one. Queen c5 instead of knight c5. It might be time for me to get a new mouse, I'm thinking. I thought that the chess.com uh, blitz qualifier was maybe just due to my uh, lack of speed on chess.com in that inter interface, but I'm starting to think it might be my mouse. So <laughs> um, I'll have to look into a new mouse. If you have any mouse suggestions, by the way, please leave them in the comments. I'm open to all of your suggestions. I do use a noiseless gaming mouse right now because the clicks, it's nice not to have them so prominent in the videos. So that's what I'm currently using. But this mouse is probably two years old at least. Yeah, sorry, Finn's age six. <laughs> yeah, next time indeed. Thank you for your support. <laughs> thanks, Terminoil, and thanks, Minnesota Taco, as well. Yeah, how many times did I play pre-moved? Felt like a lot. I guess I played them three times in the last five games, so it felt like more than it actually was, because I didn't play them till round 11. Okay, anyways, I hope you guys are having a fabulous weekend. Get out, enjoy the weather, especially if the weather is nice and not rainy like it is here right now. And as usual, I will be back with more videos, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.